this place. It's like the world's biggest candy store. Um, I believe it's just called It's Sugar. And I just got like a few things. Um, I really like cotton candy and they had this watermelon brand. But they also had like dill pickle and ranch flavored. I did not get those. I did not get those at all. Um, that just sounded disgusting, but like I would try it on a dare if someone bought it for me. But I wasn't about to, to like pay $7 for a flavor I knew I wasn't going to like. God, I love cotton candy. Like it's been so long since I've really had like the fresh spun stuff. But this stuff's pretty decent. Juicy watermelon. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. I'm not going to be trying all these. Just really wanted that. And then I found these, like, I don't know if you remember these uh, candy cigarettes we used to have. These ones are the bubblegum ones, though. Um, we never had the bubblegum ones. We always had, like, the chalk candy stuff, but I liked them. So I got one of those, just nostalgia. And then I saw, like, all these little boxes. Like, they had Japanese, Taste of Japanese, or Taste of Japan, and, um like uh snacks from mexico so like different candies and stuff um but then i saw these others and there's this one here 80s you know it's a giant tape so i thought i'd uh get this i probably shouldn't have um take a look and see what the candies are and it's like it's like pretty full it's like yeah just what i thought it'd be you know it's got these things which i've never had um, it's got Laffy Taffies, which are pretty good. Um, I mean, you can still get all this stuff today, but these, like, were real popular then. Jolly Ranchers, a whole bunch of Jolly Ranchers. So I'm going to have some, um, like, stuff for my bus trip when I'm going all the way back down to uh, uh, Pennsylvania for my orientation. So I have the Airheads, which I never actually tried these before. Red Hots, like a little thing of Red Hots. Another Laffy Taffy Cherry, which I will not eat because I don't like cherry flavored things. It reminds me of, um, like cough syrup. <laughs> so, um, I can eat regular cherries or like candy cherries or whatever, but cherry flavored things, no. Skittles, which I don't like, so I'll probably leave them here for like the staff. Blow Pop. Different, like, these are the Lemon Warheads. Like the little warheads um there's crybaby bubblegum i remember those in school um they're like supposed to be a super sour um so and then um of course the famous smarties uh necklace so um i think this was like 1088 way too expensive of course but you know i i couldn't not look at that that's so cool so that's gonna last me we can have it to um the snack on you know, on the bus and while I'm in PA, but I thought that was pretty neat. Um, oh, and I got this too. That's like some Harry Potter stuff. It's the Flyin' Cauldron Butterscotch Beer. Of course, it's non-alcoholic, um, but I think it's focusing. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, what I got. I'm going to be like kind of snacking on this stuff later. And uh, I almost wish I had got the dill pickle kind, you know, like... But it would have been such a waste of money. I wouldn't have liked it. God, can you imagine? I don't know. Anyway, so uh, that's the candy from the world's biggest candy store. And it literally was like the world's biggest. Uh, it had like two levels. It was absolutely massive. And I had to really contain myself from buying some stuff. There was this a waffle, um, like egg a waffle sweatshirt I really wanted. But I'm like, I can't be spending $40 on a sweatshirt I don't need. Um man it, I, I really liked the drawing and the art on it and stuff it was just really cool so all right i <laughs> uh, hope everyone's having a great day if you want to see my trucking journey um go ahead and give me a follow i'd really appreciate that yeah and have a good day bye